More than 10,000 essays were submitted this year to the 2009 DuPont Challenge. Essays were received from all 50 U.S. states, U.S. territories, and Canada. Winners in senior and junior divisions were selected in March. In addition to receiving awards in the form of U.S. savings bonds, the top six winners of the DuPont Challenge won an expenses paid trip in April to a Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, and a tour of NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. At the Kennedy Space Center, the awards group was treated to a VIP tour of the International Space Station Processing Center and the facility where NASA space shuttles are built and prepared for their different space flights. All winners and sponsoring teachers were honored at an awards luncheon held at Kennedy Space Center. This year's keynote speaker was Dr. Robert Cabana, director of Kennedy Space Center. Dr. Cabana is a former astronaut who was inducted into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame in 2008. Here we are, you're over Australia, and you slow down to land in Florida, going from 17,500 miles an hour, you know, and you're just you're coming over to the United States, and it's like, wow, look, you're went used to me. <laughs> our job is to explore and go beyond our limits. While in Florida, the awards winners, along with their sponsoring teacher and accompanying parent, stayed at a Walt Disney World Resort and enjoyed free admission to all of the Disney World theme parks and water parks. The awards trip culminated with a private viewing of Disney Castle fireworks and an awards dinner. Closing remarks were given by Dr. Roger C. Miyoko, DuPont Vice President of Technology, Safety and Protection. I would just encourage you to continue to pursue your interest in science or math. Uh, this country, this country is not going to thrive in the future unless we have dedicated young folks like you that will, will go into these fields. And Dr. Joseph Curian, DuPont Serona Polymer Scientist. Wherever there is science, DuPont will be there. And you will see a part of DuPont always supporting science. And as Audrey has pointed out, the future really belongs to you. You have to create the future. We encourage students in grades 7 through 12 to enter the 2010 DuPont Challenge. For more information, please visit thechallenge.dupont.com.